Ito isang modernong electrical panel board which is a must for every home. It is designed for safety and easy operation and maintenance. Sana all meron ganito sa kanilang bahay. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe to support this channel. The electrical panel board or main breaker panel is the heart and brain of the electrical system in our homes. Dito galing lahat ng connection sa bahay at dito rin makukontrol ang daloy ng kuryente. So it's really like a heart that pumps out blood to our veins. Ang mga kable ay siyang veins or ugat at ang dumadaloy na kuryente ay ang dugo. Dati, mga bahay sa Pinas ay meron lang isang fuse box na ang tawag namin dito sa Cebu ay plangka. This old type of fuse box ay gumagamit ng dalawang fuses na mapuputol in case merong anomalies or short circuit sa bahay. Kaso lang, pag busted na yung cartridge fuses ay kailangan mo palitan ng bago. There's also this improved knife switch fuse na gumagamit lang ng fuse wire instead of the cylindrical fuses. But both fuse boxes and switches are hassle and not really providing safety to homeowners. Kaya sa modernong panahon, ito na ang ginagamit na fuse box. Tawag dito ay main breaker panel because it has breakers. Breakers automatically shuts off when anomalies occur in our electrical system. Ang napakaganda nito, kung maayos mo na yung problema sa electrical system, pwede mo i-on ulit ang breaker so wala nang pagpapalit ng fuses. This main breaker ay nasa extension ng aking bahay. Meron itong main breaker at saka sub breakers. Dito naman sa original panel sa bahay, when we occupy the house, our power distributor required us to replace the main breaker with a residual breaker type. Ang developer ng aming subdivision ay naglagay ng ibang klase na breaker. So, kailangan namin palitan, otherwise, hindi kami lagyan ng kuryente ng aming power distributor. Ang require ng power distributor na breaker ay RCCB or the Residual Current Circuit Breaker. Ang RCCB ay merong extra protection whenever a person is about to be electrocuted. The device will disconnect the circuit once it senses there is a leakage of current flowing through a human body or hindi balanse ang kuryente sa dalawang linya. Meron ding ibang klaseng na uh, residual breaker, ito yung RCBO o Residual Current Operated Circuit Breaker with overcurrent protection. Aside from meron siyang protection against electrocution, meron din itong protection against overloading and short circuit. Ang uh, setup ng aking dalawang main panels ay RCCB as main breaker as required by the power company. Then yung mga sub-breakers sa baba ay MCB or miniature circuit breaker. MCB is intended to be used for distribution kaya it is recommended as sub-breakers. Meron itong protection against overload and short circuit. The RCCB has no protection for overload and short circuit unlike the MCBs. Again, ang meron lang ito ay ang protection against electrocution at kung unba unbalanced yung linya. Kung sakali merong overload or short circuit sa baba ng sub-breakers, mag-trip off ang concern sa breaker kasi MCB ito. May possibility na hindi mag-trip off ang main breaker kasi RCCB ito. Walang protection against overload and short circuit. So for example, mag-trip off ang sub-breaker for the kitchen outlets Dahil merong overloading or short circuit, the main breaker is still up kasi RCCB. So as a result, on pa rin yung ibang circuit sa bahay natin like meron tayong ilaw, then uh, meron pa rin outlet, uh, gumagana pa rin yung ibang outlet, at saka yung ref, at saka yung iba. Ang kitchen na ang na-off. Okay, Siya lang, ito lang yung ang nag trip off. Kaya siguro, ito ang uh, RCCB ang nirequire ng power company namin kasi pag uh, RCBO ang ginagamit as main breaker pag merong overloading at short circuit sa baba dito na sa breakers pati ang main breaker ay ma-turn off kasi RCBO ito. Meron ding protection against overloading and short circuit. So, dalawang breaker ang mag-shut off, ang sub-breaker for example, sa kitchen at ang main breaker. As a result, buong bahay natin walang kuryente. Kung meron ding electrocution na magaganap sa baba or unbalanced ang load sa kitchen, mag-shut off din ang RCBO kasi pareho ito, pareho din ito ng RCCB. 
So, ang napakaganda sa setup na RCCB yung main breaker at MCB yung sub-breakers, theoretically, hindi totally mawalan ng kurente ang bahay kung merong overloading o short, cir short circuit lang. Unless merong electrocution o unbalanced load in any of the sub-breakers, magsashut off talaga ang main breaker kasi RCCB ito. Pero based on my experience ng merong short circuit sa aking kitchen at sa bathroom, pati ang main breaker ng RCCB ay nag-shut off din. Dito sa aking bagong main breaker panel, 63 amperes yung RCCB kaya mas malaki siya kaysa sa breakers na nasa 16 to 32 amperes lang. Um, at saka yung uh, RCCB ay meron siya ditong test uh, trip button na kalagay dito test monthly. Kung pindutin mo itong orange button, ang mangyari ay mag-simulate siya ng fault at magto-turn off yung main breaker, yung RCCB. Kung hindi siya magto-turn off, when you push this button, it means sira yung RCCB mo at saka kailangan mo ng uh, palitan. What is good having sub-breakers ay madali mong makita kung merong fault kasi mag-off yung particular na sub-breaker na merong fault tulad nito. And that happened to me many times in the past. Kung maayos mo na yung problema, then you can just turn back on this uh, sub-breaker. By the way, sa gilid ng main panel breaker ay merong AC panel monitor. Dito mo makikita ang mga detalye ng kuryente na pumapasok sa bahay natin. Um, makikita mo dito ang voltage here, 233 volts. At saka yung frequency, 59.9. Okay? At saka yung current or ampere ng kuryente na pumapasok. Then you can also monitor your consumption, your power consumption. Dito sa itaas is 32.1 or 31.2 watts. That is my present as of now na ginagamit ko na kuryente. At sa baba, meron na kalagay dito 63.44 kilowatt hours. That is the accumulated or the running total consumption ng bahay ko simula ng aking billing cycle. So napaka ganda nito and this is very useful in our in our uh, house. If you want to know more on how to install and how to use this AC panel monitor, check my previous video. If you have questions and ideas about this video, please share it in the comment section. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Thank you very much. I'm Jun Tariman, High Tech Tawai.